Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to discuss about wheat milling. Wheat is being cultivated since prehistoric times and it is cultivated throughout the world. Triticum acetivum is the most commonly used wheat variety nowadays. The wild wheat types, immer and ain corn, were developed from a type of wild grass. These are husks. These Ima and Incon wheat or husk wheat, which means the husk remains attached to the kernel after threshing. Ima is generally regarded as one of the ancestor variety of wheat. Now coming to the milling process of uh, wheat, the first let us discuss about the traditional method. The traditional procedure for milling wheat in India has been stone grinding, that is chakki to obtain whole meat flour, whole meal flour. Here we have a grinding stone, that is two pieces of stone that rotate uh, in opposite direction by you, uh, and, we, and there is a wooden handle on the top of the uh, upper stone. So this chakki consists of two stone pieces uh, that will rotate in opposite direction and the top of the uh, upper uh, stone, it will have a uh, handle that is wooden handle that will uh, cause the by which we have to roll the uh, wooden stone. This method results in 90 to 95 percent extraction rate of flour, which retains almost all the nutrients of the grain while simultaneously eliminating the part of the grain which is most indigestible like cellulose and phytic acid. So by this method, we get a nutritious flour and at the same time, the indigestible matters like cellulose and phytic acid can be removed. But this method is in very, is not in use, use today. Maybe in villages, this traditional method may be followed. Uh, this is the traditional method. But here, the production of atta, that is whole meal flour, is, uh, is done in a large scale. So, they are using a very uh, huge machine and they are rolling the uh, wheat. So, inside the, inside the mortar, you can see the wheat and they are rotating it by means of iron handles. And here, the wheat flour flows. So, this is a old, old method, traditional method. But the production of wheat flour is taking in, taking place in a uh, large scale. Next, coming to the modern milling method. In the modern milling method, there are uh, various steps. There are several steps by which the final whole meal flour or maida flour or suji, that is rava uh, semolina, can be applied. So the first step is screening. The first step is screening. Wheat is first subjected to cleaning to remove various types of impurities together with damaged, shrunken and broken kernels which are collectively known as screenings. So what are these screenings? These screenings are like damaged wheat, shrunken wheat, broken kernel, dirty wheat. All of these are collectively known as screenings. Impurities that adhere to the grain are removed by washing or by dry scoring, which loosens the impurities, which are then blown away by an air current. So, screening is nothing but removal of uh, unwanted wheat from the wheat that we are going to process. That is separating the uh, unwanted wheat like damaged ones, shrunken and broken kernels. So, only quality wheat will be going for processing. That is the screening process. Second step is Conditioning. Second step is uh, conditioning. Now, the clean wheat is subjected to condition. That is, uh, like we get various uh, types of wheat. Like a uh, uh, wheat miller, a uh, milling factory, it might get wheat uh, from different parts of the city and uh, from different farmers. So, the types of the wheat may be uh, different. Now, we are mixing all types of wheat together. So that the moisture content will be different in different types of wheat. 
So what they are doing here, we are conditioning the bee by adding moisture. This improves the physical state of the grain for milling and sometimes improves the baking quality of milled flour. This process involves adjustment of average moisture content of the wheat. That is nothing but like the test of wheat, like wheat uh, grain for a moisture content. The moisture content of the sample should be between 15 to 17 percent. If it is below, we have to add moisture. If it is above the above 17 percent, we have to bring it to 15 to 17 percent of the uh, moisture content. Hence, condition is nothing but adjustment of the average moisture content of the wheat. It should be 15 to 17 percent. Uh, when the moisture content is optimum, the bran, that is the outer coat, is stiffened and separation of the endosperm and, and from the bran, it becomes easy. And the moisture content, that is optimum. That is when it is brought to about 15 to 17 percent, our milling process, it becomes easy. That is the bran will become tough and it can be easily separated from the endosperm. Finally, the cleaned and conditioned wheat is subjected to milling to separate the endosperm from the bran and germ and to reduce the endosperm to flour finer to obtain the maximum extraction of white flour from the wheat. The reduced endosperm is known as flour. So already we have studied about the structure of the wheat and we know about the structure of the wheat. Wheat has an endosperm, bran, wheat germ, all this thing. Now, the endosperm is uh, reduced into flour. It is white in color. And then uh, the, the left out germ, bran, and residual endosperm obtained as byproducts, they are used primarily in animal feed. So, only the endosperm part is made into flour, whereas the uh, uh, bran, residual endosperm, germ, they are obtained as byproducts and are usually primarily used in animal feeding. So flour milling is achieved by grinding in roller mills. Grinding is carried out in four or five stages, that is in a gradual reduction process. Each grinding stage, it gives a grind consisting of a mixer of coarse, medium and fine particles, including a proportion of flour. So, during the milling flour, like step by step, there will be a reduction in the uh, size of the particle. First, it will be core, then medium, finally fine particles. The different size particles are sorted by sifting and then the core particles are conveyed to subsequent grinding stage. So, like first step, the uh, a coarse particle will be obtained. So, these coarse particles again will be uh, introduced into the mill and then again the uh, uh, coarse particle they will turn into fine particles. Still if we get any coarse particles they will be collected and they will be again recycled into the machine to get finer particles. Now you can see the milling stages. So this is the milling stage like uh, this is a diagrammatic representation of the milling stages. First thing you can see the cleaned wheat that is uh, removing the broken, damaged, dirty wheat particles. All this is done. Uh, now we have cleaned wheat. Next is conditioned wheat. Conditioned wheat is nothing but adjustment of moisture from uh, moisture to 15 to 17 percent. Next is crisping. Crisping is nothing but uh, that is collection of uh, different types of wheat. We told you uh, like we get wheat from different parts of the city or from different farmers. All these are mixed together now. And here we have four rollers. The milling, uh, the miller or the machine, it has four rollers. One is for breaking the uh, wheat. All these four rollers do their work. So the rigid rollers revolve at high speed in opposite direction, peeling, opening the grain, releasing the endosperm. So now, uh, when the rollers, they move in opposite direction, the bran will be removed and the endosperm will be released. And again, uh, by means of rolling, whole grain flour will be produced. 
so the whole grain flour it will uh, flow into this part the open grain passes through the rotating sieve which separates it air is blown through the grain separating lighter bran from the heavier endosperm so here the by means of air the uh, flour comes here the bran goes there since uh, the germ is somewhat uh, heavy when compared to flour it will go this side so the rough endosperm is ground down further by set of smooth reducing rollers again the second step it is again it will be rolled to get finer particles air classifying light and dry air so here we have air movement air will be passed through a fan which uh, will classify the wheat in uh, the materials or the products into wheat flour bran and wheat germ additives are added next after the uh, this wheat flour is received here additives will be added like calcium vitamins bleaching agents and improvers that calcium propionate is usually added uh, as a preservative so as when making bread the bread will stay for a long time bleaching agent to improve the color vitamin fat soluble vitamins are added to improve the uh, shelf life of the product this fat soluble vitamin they act as anti oxidant and they prevent rancidity after that the flour is the flour wheat flour is dry and packed so wheat is generally after the milling process we get three type of wheat that is so wheat is generally ground into atta that is whole meal that contains some amount of bran suji or rava the rough and the coarse particle and maida refined flour that that doesn't contain bran at all and it is also bleached to appear white in color within these broad grades there are Finer divisions like high gluten and low gluten atta, the same in whole wheat flour. Sometimes we have as uh, high gluten and low gluten. Similarly, for maida also we have low gluten, medium gluten, and high gluten maida. All these specifications, that is the amount of uh, gluten content in wheat flour and maida flour, is determined by FSSAI of India. Thanks for watching.